Hey everyone, so this video is for you if you have your Jupiter in Scorpio. So I am making my Jupiter series uh, related to existentialism and the existential theory in psychology. So existentialism or this theory attempts to help people find meaning in their life and cope with the givens of existence. So Jupiter shows us how we create our meaning in life and how that kind of maintains the sense of purpose in our lives. So when this planet that is attempting to do that goes back to the previous sign before it, Scorpio, it's kind of in the place where it has to actually confront the givens of existence first before it can establish that meaning. So this is an interesting placement because with Jupiter and Scorpio, Jupiter expands something in our chart that makes it really hard to ignore, right? So when it's in Scorpio and it expands Scorpio in your chart, it expands the awareness of your own mortality. And death then is very apparent and feels like inescapable, which it is. For you, it's just more, um, it's harder to ignore, I guess. So it expands life's inevitabilities, basically, is what it is. And because of that, it kind of expands the essential elements of existentialism and what this theory is about. So the elements of existentialism are anxiety, death, um, isolation, meaninglessness, and freedom and responsibility. Now, I feel like the freedom and responsibility part might come more with the Jupiter and Sagittarius level, but all of those, I guess, harder elements um, around existentialism as a concept, I think are really, they're larger in the Jupiter and Scorpio individual, or they're not necessarily larger, but it's just the, the confrontation with them is more direct, if that makes sense. So if this placement is afflicted in your chart, it's, it can be, it can, it can make it more anxious because existentialism also talks about defenses that people put up in order to avoid the givens of existence, in order to avoid, um, you know, the inevitabilities of life and how it's, um, it's finitude. I think that's how you say that word. <laughs> um, so that if it's afflicted, it might show up as trying to avoid it, you know, but it's hard to avoid what Jupiter expands. So if it is kind of anxious in your chart, or maybe it's less, it's maybe not as, I don't want to say strong, but if it's less certain, if it's less, if it's more insecure in your chart, Jupiter, then it can show up as it wanting to put defenses up against these elements of life and of human conditions. Um, or it could also make you have like almost a morbid fascination with <laughs> this topic of life. Um, overall though, this placement actually creates an incredible self-analysis within yourself and an exploration of people's hidden fears and existential concerns that everybody has in life because existentialism is really talking about how everyone has to face these human conditions that we have and you with the jupiter and scorpio it expands your awareness of the conditions themselves of anxiety of death of isolation of needing to transform yourself it expands that awareness of this human idea so through that you can actually 
develop a deeper understanding of the purpose of existence and its endings and what it means when things end, when things die, what it means to transform. And it's not, again, it's not at the sad level where you're already in the place where you've mastered the confrontation and now you're developing a meaning, a sense of meaning to life because you've already done that. It's more understanding the spiritual process of death and of transformation and understanding it as a state and a process physically and spiritually and understanding the natural cycles, inevitable cycles of life, that exploration and that self-analysis that you do with yourself and with others and with life in general, that is where you'll find your meaning through that inner search. <laughs> so hope you hope you like this video and yeah, thanks for watching.